What's going on, Malakis? Dean NCC3 here, and let's spend some quality time gaming with each other, and we're going to start a rally leading tier series. Like today's video is going to be the beginner tier, next video is going to be the intermediate, and then the video after that is going to be the end game tier. And if the whole series gets a good enough response, we'll make an advanced series for you guys out there that are always trying to look and get that edge. But before we get into the video, guys, a couple of the things you guys need to know is like some lingo essentially is push counter and countered okay when you push it means that your front line is equal to the enemy's front line so essentially this if i send infantry and it meets an infantry front line you're going to push right counter is this i send infantry you send range and then boom i counter you and then countered is the opposite, right? So I send infantry and you're in cavalry. That's some stuff you guys need to know. And other than that, though, Scoobs, let's just go ahead and dive right into the video, shall we? We are on back on we are back on Mr. Chips' account. And the first things first, guys, when you're starting to be a rally leader, you need to decide what troop, and I'm saying troop, not troops plural what troop to specialize in whether it's infantry range or cavalry none of them are better than the other all of them are equally as good but for video purposes we're going to go with infantry all right and so i'm going to go ahead and look through all of these heroes here and i'm going to think about what infantry heroes i would like to have in my lineup now here's a pro tip for you guys it is really good to pick heroes that are also good for the coliseum so like scar like black crow she's amazing for the coliseum she's not exactly primo when it comes down to leading rallies or even attacking but you know that that could sway your decision okay um heroes like uh let me see here where's where's where is she at boob hilda there we go tracker She's got defense and attack. She's great for rally. She's great for attacking, okay? And she's great for the Coliseum. So that's just to give you guys some example. And if you're looking for some infantry examples, here's one right here for you. Where's that guy at? I know I just passed him up. Boom, there we go. Demon Slayer. Amazing. He is one of the top tier heroes for rally leading and for attacking if you're sending infantry, okay? He's got infantry HP, he's got attack, and he's amazing for the Coliseum, okay? So it's always great to double dip on your heroes, essentially, is what I'm trying to get at. But let's go ahead and do this, right? So I've got a good idea of what kind of heroes I would like to have for my infantry lineup, all right? Now, they don't have to be $11,000 heroes or even heavy pay-to-play heroes. They could be as simple as, like, free heroes, like uh, like the Watcher, right? I know, cut me some slack, guys. This is This is... I know it's not a free-to-play account, okay, but most rally leaders are not free-to-play, all right? They've, they've got access to heroes like the Watcher or Prince of Thieves or uh, even the big guy. Let's just put the big guy in there because he's not bad, right? He's got some defense and some attack, yada, yada, yada. Um, but that's what I'm trying to get at, guys. So you've got to pick your heroes accordingly the heroes you're going to be using let's take out the 11k hero and let's put in like demon slayer where is he at there we go boom so all right the reason why i say specialize in one troop is because the end game meta let me go ahead and pause this music for you guys right here the end game meta that means the top tier rally leaders the guys that are downing billion might targets all of that stuff the guys that will hit the absolute hardest all use one troop type rallies, okay? Because they are absolutely the best as of now, okay? It's been tested, it's been tried, it is proven to be the best. That is why you guys need to specialize in one troop type, okay? And here's a good reason why, okay? Check this out. You get 150 additional infantry attack. Let's go ahead and put that into my calculator. I'm going to use this for later on in the video, okay? So remember, 150%. Also, look at the HP that you're giving to all your troops, the defense you're giving to all your troops, and then the additional attack you're giving to all of your troops, right? And all that. Anyways, army HP. I know, I messed that up. But anyways, what I'm trying to get at, guys, is that it is the absolute best to send one troop type march or one troop type rallies that is always the best because you will always hit the hardest, okay? For you guys that are like, well, I've already got Rose Knight. I'm going to use Rose Knight because she's cavalry. Do the same thing. Pick Rose Knight, you know, and then get something like um, 
uh, like Night Raven, he's pretty good too. Uh, let's see here, Sparky, right? Child of Light. These are all really good cavalry heroes, okay? That's all I'm trying to say. For your specifics, just look down your hero line, and if you were unsure, like as in you don't have all of the heroes unlocked, you should be able to go right here to your hero bar, and then go to the question mark, and then look for the heroes you don't have discovered just yet, and then figure out which one has the attacks. And here's the priority, okay? Attack for the troop type is always king, then HP, and then defense. So if you've got attack and HP, that hero is golden, okay? But for this purposes, like I said, we're going to use those heroes. And before you get into anything else, guys, remember, you're specializing in one troop type. Not two and three and four, but one troop type, all right? So... We're going to build our gear set. Now, I'm going to use the one... I'm going to use Lord's Mobile Dressing Room um, because I prefer using that over, let's say, uh, pretty much anything else, man. Like, I could go into the workshop right here. I could go into the workshop and use the in-game filter, and I will do that here in just a bit. But I want to use this other fill. I want to use this other uh, uh, other means here. Lord's Mobile Dressing Room. This is the this is the King Mac Daddy Dingling, okay? I'm telling you right now, it's going to give you all of your stats, all of that good stuff. So yeah, here we go. I'm going to select Infantry Attack. I can also put in Infantry HP, but I'm more interested in Attack than anything else, okay? So let's go ahead and search. Automatically... It is going to give me the highest, the highest attack I can possibly get with all of the gear. Now, you know, I don't want to get champion gear, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and exclude that. I'm not going to get champion gear in any amounts, all right? And so what this is going to allow me to do is play around with all of these and see what the stats look like when it's gold, all right? So I already know that the Storm Tacits is the best in slot infantry boots. Nothing else beats it or even comes close, okay? The Terror Shield... Nothing beats the Terror Shield. It is the best in slot for uh, infantry attack, all right? Nothing beats the Terror Lash. And then, um, in my opinion, Call of the Deep is really, really good. You can also use the Dark Ages, which is also really, really good because it's 20% attack instead of just 10 um, you know, and you can mix and match it, okay? You've got 9% attack, some defense. You know, you can basically play around and use these any which way you like. You can also use... Um, your winter mitts when you're attacking with an infantry phalanx, you really can, because the winter mitts, it gives a lot of HP and a lot of infantry defense, so it just depends on how you want to play, okay? So I'm not going to tell you how to play, but it, it, it depends on you, okay? For this purpose, I'm going to use the Call of the Deep, because I am a huge fan of, of HP, just as a whole. Literally HP, 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 all right? So here we go. I've got the full set, but, you know, I don't want to use Ambrosio Cups, you know, because they're so expensive. Well, let's move down the line. How about Terror Vials? These are the next best-in-slot items for a full infantry attack. Okay, let's go ahead and select that. Everything else is pretty manageable. The only reason I wouldn't recommend this set is because you're going to use a lot of the Terror Seeds um, in order to make this set, okay? But if you're comfortable with it, okay. And the Terror Seeds really aren't that bad to get, okay? They're really not. Also... This Lord's Mobile Dressing Room is going to allow you to use your talents as well. So I'm going to switch to talents. I'm going to go all the way to the bottom right down here. And I'm going to max out this squad HP, okay? Squad HP 2, I'm going to max that bad boy out. I'm also going to max out the squad defense 2, just because I'll have extra points left over. Here we go. Infantry attack 3. And bloop, 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 bloop. Infantry attack level 2. And then just keep moving on down. Let's get the squad health 1. Put that up to max. Squad defense one. Put that up to max. I'm also going to get the level one attacks as well, right? So here we go. Boom. And then I'm going to get my squad offense one. There should be a squad offense two, but whatever. And I still have points left over. I truly, truly do. Um, I've got like 30... Two points? Yeah, no, yeah, like 32 points left over. So, you know, put that in whatever you want. It doesn't have to be anything particular. In the event that sometimes you drink and you want to play Lord's Mobile, to save yourself some hassle, put it into Training Speed 2. That's what I highly recommend, okay? Just because I know, you know, sometimes you do stuff, you goof off, and you build troops when you're not supposed to, or whatever the case may be. So that helps you out in the long run, all right? So check this out. 255% infantry attack. Plus the 150% I'm going to get from my heroes. So let me add those two numbers together, right? Let's go 150 plus 255.5 equals. I'm already at 405% 
infantry attack, and I have not even put any jewels inside of my gear. Now let's go ahead and simulate the jewels, right? That is an additional 160%, meaning I've got 565% infantry attack. Let's take it a step further. I've got the terror jewels. The terror set gives you terror jewels, and those are 10% additional infantry attacks. So let's plus another 80%. So right now, without having any familiars or any of that stuff, I've got 645% infantry attack. Let's add the research in there now, right? Plus 135 research. Again, this is without anything else, okay? This is without army attack. This is without familiars. I've got 780% straight up infantry attack. If I was to add in the army attack I would get from here, which is very dismal, um, where is it at? Right here. It's 5% 5, 5 okay? Plus 5% for that, plus 135% for your base, um, your base army attack, and then if you have a prisoner or anything else, just start adding those numbers in there. I am already over 900% for my infantry attack. When I hit, when I hit into somebody, I am going to destroy them, even if they are in cavalry phalanx. The fact of the matter is, is that I have such high amount of infantry attack every single one, of, every single time that one of my heroes uses their tactic. Every single time one of the heroes uses their tactic. Let me tell you what I'm talking about, right? Every single time, man. Every single time, like the Watcher uses his Forest of the Wild, Forest Wild here, he's going to do 200% plus. 200% uh, of whatever my attack is as damage. So when you're splitting this stat up into two or three different troop types, you're not going to get over a thousand attack. By the way, you can easily get near a thousand attack in one troop type without breaking the bank, okay? Without being champion gear. This is all non-champion gear, just letting you guys know that, alright? And you don't gotta get storm tacits, you can get the, um... The Dragon's Talon, you can get that too, okay? It's all up for you to decide, okay? But here we go. I'm going to go into the Lord's Mobile itself. I'm going to go into their filter really quick. Let's go to the uh, All Equipment. Filter right down here. Let's select a helmet because you have to select something. Select this, and then I'm going to scroll down, and I'm just going to select Infantry Attack, okay? Now, it's going to put the highest... From the highest down to the lowest in terms of your infantry attack. So the highest infantry attack is Beast Helmet. Now we got Shadow Helmet level at this. We've got the Berserker Helm. Um, I mean, maybe not the highest level. Yeah, maybe it's the level. Anyways, I forget how it's organized, all right? Don't blame me, all right? But if you want to stay on the cheap, you can get Indulgent Vice. It's 10%. and yeah, Nobody's going to really care too much, all right? But Beast Helmet's where it's at, right? Chest Piece, same thing here. Terror Shield, or you can get the Firewall Plate. What I'm trying to say here, fam, is that you need to maximize... Always, always, always maximize one troop type marches, one troop type rallies. When you do master that, you're going to notice a significant difference on how hard you attack. But hopefully, guys, this was educational for you guys. I know the video is a little bit long right now. I don't want it to stretch out to be too long. If you guys are looking for attack details, all that good stuff, I've got a couple of these here. Let me see here. Clinton's T. Here we go. Here's an occupied fort. I believe that's all one troop type. Here we go. Here's a turf attack right there. Oh my gosh, there's another rally. Oh, boom, right there. See this? Here's a rally right here. And this one, I think, believe Chip's led right here. You attack this guy's turf, all right? This guy, naturally, if he didn't change his name, 108, he was over 200 million might, right? And this rally was full. And look at this right here, right? Look at the amount of troops lost versus the enemy. It is significant, significant. Yeah, he was in a range wedge too, which actually really hurt him. But it also saved him too, because it put his cavalry right there in the front as well. But check that out, right? All one troop types, heroic, heroic fighters, guards. It's all one troop types, no matter what, guys. 100%. And here we go, look at this. Boom. Sent out the troops just like that. <sighs> All I'm saying, guys is sending one troop type marches, one troop type rallies, are always going to be the best in the game. It is the new meta, or I should just say it's the existing meta that's always been like that. And also, something you need to not forget when I can get back in here to the battle report, do not forget to send four troops. Eh, I'll save that for the intermediate people, okay? Anyways, guys, hopefully this video was, uh, hopefully you guys liked this video, and if you guys did, let me know inside the comment section, okay? Let me know what you guys liked, what I should have added, all that good stuff. But y'all know what I'm talking about, though, right? Love, peace, and chicken grease. Be safe. 
Thanks for stopping back. Let's spend some of yo. QO'd it! And, and look how fast this wall goes down. Psh, that's why you don't build walls, man. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> Stay classy. Just look at this, man. Just getting demolished. Getting de getting wrecked is so bad. It's so bad. And look at this. You're almost losing next to nothing on your troops, literally. Most people who lead a rally like this send two troop types, three troop types, and then they end up not doing anywhere near as amount of damage. All I'm saying here is Chips, yes, he may have the debuffs, all that stuff done. He may have his research done. He may have ambrosial cups or whatever. But if you use the set of gear I used, plus you didn't have any of the extra stuff, you know, like an 11k hero or anything like that, you would still do, you would do work. You would, you would still beat the snot out of this guy. But anyways, guys, I love you, all right? Mwah.